Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UI Path by Sujita. In this video, we are going to do a practice session on calling API to extract weather report. Okay, we have already did this using UI automation. The same thing that means to extract the weather report of a few countries uh, using Google. So, but we did it in UI automation. That means through web automation web automation but now the same process we are going in a different approach that is instead of ui uh, automation we are using api calls in ui path okay if you have not yet gone through that video please go through this and uh, let me uh, let me show you that so where is it yeah this is the one okay Daily weather report, UI demo, uh, UI path demo using UI automation and Excel automation. Okay, dynamic weather reporting. Okay, this is the one. So just do this. The same thing we are uh, going to achieve using APIs. Okay, fine. Now, what is our agenda? This is the thing. So we are going to read the input from an Excel. Uh, only the country details. Let me share the country data. Okay. And then uh, we are going to pass the input to API and get the weather report of each country. Okay. For that, I have provided some steps. And then let me give you save the weather report in an Excel. So only simple three steps, right? But there are some sub steps, I mean tasks here which we need to do as prerequisites. Okay. So we are uh, supposed to create a dummy data Excel file and then we are supposed to get one public API. Okay. Public API in the sense APIs we can use uh, free of cost. Okay. We have this available so i'll let you know how to get the api as well because we, since we are working on an api call we need some api right to test trial okay so before that let us create one uh, excel file just follow uh, this video whatever steps i'm pro I'm, I'm doing please please do the same okay yeah just uh, open your UiPath Studio. I have already opened our previous project where I am going to create one sequence for today's task. Weather report API call. Okay. Fine. Our sequence is ready. Now go to the project folder and inside this i have created a folder called data to keep all my data related files here ignore the already available files because these we used in our previous videos test cases use cases so create an excel file keep it as country details okay just give some dummy data So let me just maximize this. Yes. Bangalore. Then London. Let us give some one more. Canada. It will be yes. Okay, fine. Let's save this out. Now let's go back to our, so our Excel is ready, right? So the first part, this part is completed, right? Now we need an API, right? How to get this API? Let's go to this website and sign in to get an API for API usage, okay? So let me show you that. So this is the uh, website and I have already uh, created an account 
and you can get the APIs okay so as soon as we create I mean as soon as we sign in let me show you so when you open this it it will ask you to sign it sign in so just create a new account using create an account give your email ID and password and select these two then create okay then as soon as you create an account you will get a email uh, verification uh, link to your uh, mailbox okay um, and after you verify your email account you will receive an email with the api key fine yes this is the api uh, uh, api key with the details how to use and all okay so this you will receive as soon as you verify your email account okay so you can use the api key in order to utilize this <coughs> api along with the api also so we we can go with this api for now let us utilize the same api okay okay fine uh, don't worry if the API is not working be because it will take at least a uh, couple of hours uh, to see here within next couple of hours it will be activated so it will take couple of hours to activate this API account for them so uh, ju just take some time you know, give some time and then uh, start using this API so this is the process to get your api and the api key for free okay so now that we have uh, the api and the api key ready what is our next step we are supposed to pass this data whatever is there in the excel into this api and then save the response into a excel okay let's quickly start our process go to our your ipad studio i have already created a sequence here so what is our first step we are supposed to read the data from the excel file right so go to activities panel and then use read range workbook drag and drop this give the workbook path where is it it is under data country details right and we have not changed the sheet name so just give it give that as it is and go to when you go to properties panel of this activity there's something called output option which is in data table so we are supposed to provide a data table variable okay fine save it okay now we have the data ready in this data table dt country details now what is our next step we are supposed to pass this data into the api right in order to pass this data into the, uh, the api we need something called http request right we already learned about this in our previous video if you are new to this please go through our other videos on api approach then come to this video okay so if you are not able to find this http request activity here don't worry just go to manage packages and official just type uipath.webapi web api yes this one just install it since we already installed in our previous uh, uh, workshops it, it is already there okay just save it out then you will be able to get this activity http request now let us drag and drop this here okay and we are supposed to pass the input accept format request method and request url since we are getting something through this api let it be as get okay the default one and the accept format let's go with json because we are uh, learning about json right 
then request URL. What is the request URL? It's nothing but your API. Just copy this and go back to yes. Keep this in right. Let me add HTTPS before this. Okay, fine. L let us replace these values later. Just save it out and go back. Now, I got a question. We have some n number of rows in this Excel file, right? Say, for example, this one, right? How to uh, get the values for each of the country? How to get the weather report of each of these countries? That means... We are supposed to call the API once for Bangalore, once for London and once for Canada, right? How to achieve this? For that, we need to keep this in for each, okay? For each row. Let's drag and dra drop this, yeah, this one. For each row in data table. Okay, yeah, here. And what is the output of this workbook? read range workbook it is the dt country details right so in this dt country details we have our data which we read from this excel file so we are going to iterate each and every row fine and for each row we are supposed to call the http request we are supposed to call this api so that's the reason i have kept this I place this HTTP request activity inside the for each row. Makes sense, right? Fine. Now, in this current row, we have the value of one row, right? For the first time, we'll be having this entire row in this current row. Now, let's go back to our code and let's go to HTTP request and we will make some change here. So, instead of London, UK, what we are going to pass is current row dot item of country. Okay. So, let me get that. For each row, what we are going to do is we are going to read each and every country name item of country what is this country this is the name of this column okay so country fine fine now let us convert this to dot to string then have this over a variable as your country fine just save it and now we can pass this here right instead of passing the entire formula over here okay fine this is ready now where is our api id this app application id that is that is nothing but our key right api key which we receive when we sign in when we uh, create an account in the website fine Wait, I'll be saving this in a variable as, okay, and I'll be providing the data. So, let me get this value, go back and save it. Fine, let's save this out. Now, let us use this as input here. okay perfect so our api is ready where we are filtering based on the country name and we are passing the authentication that is nothing but our api key perfect now our input part is completed i mean the http request input part is completed now what is the response here we are expecting the weather report weather uh, report for each country right so, we will receive that in the output section. So, 
here there is something called response content create a variable to receive the response okay then there is something called response status we already discussed about this in our previous videos which gives the status of the api call that means if it is success something like 200 if it is any failure because of so and so reason it will give the pro appropriate status code say 401 500 all this okay so it is going to be in an integer so i am creating a variable with data type int integer okay int api status fine now let's quickly go back and verify whether it has created the proper data uh, yeah variable type or not okay fine response and status save it now let's fine tune this response so as we already read we did in our previous video to deserialize the response of uh, the api request right http request how to do that since we are accepting the format of json where is this yeah we, we kept it as json let us go with deserialize json okay let me just use this and pass the output of the http request that is nothing but HT, str api response and create a j object to save the output of this deserialized json activity j object weather details okay now we have something in this j object okay how to read this let me give you something in a log message just for time being okay let us just use str api response let me add it here after http request okay just for time being to understand what exactly we are receiving okay can we run up to this yes let's execute this now I'll show you a common mistake what we uh, do without our notice. Okay. Let me show you that. Okay. Yes. Go to output panel and you could see invalid API key. May I know the reason behind this? I'll show you. The silly mistake but common mistake everyone will do this. Okay. If you look at this API. We kept this entire API in in this inverted commas. That means as a string, right? But we are passing this variables as the values to be considered. But have you noticed the difference here? This also been taken as a value, but not the part. I mean, uh, the str country itself is taken as a country name, right? But that is not the case, right? Whatever value is present in this variable, that needs to be considered. But here, since we kept this inside the inverted commas, this itself is considered as a country name, okay? To avoid this, how to avoid this? Simple, okay? Now, just add this part in the inverted commas and keep this. Perfect, right? Okay. Got it? So it will work now. And one more thing here. Let me just save this. And just validate whether we pass the value or not. Okay, we passed some API ID. Now, let us rerun this. Super, perfect, right? Go to output panel and see the output. So this is for 1, 2 and 3. Let us see what data we need. We just need the weather report. That means the temperature, pressure, humidity, 
and wind wind speed right so what and all we need we just need the temperature minimum and maximum temperature pressure humidity okay now we are supposed to read this retrieve this data how to get that for that only we deserialized it into a j object and it will be easy for us to extract data from j object right how to get the uh, json values and all how to read the json uh, data this, this we already learned in our previous videos please go through that so it will be easy for you now let me start reading let let us take this humidity okay this one okay now to make you understand i just copied the output into a notepad in json format okay to understand this json let us see there there is something called chord just minimize this weather okay so if we minimize everything here yeah this is the json it has COD, weather, base, main, visibility, wind, clouds, DTS, time zone, ID, name, COD as the attributes, right? And if you go inside the main, there are few more values, okay? Now, we, we need to read humidity, right? So, we already read how to get this value of main. How to get this? Go to your studio and in JSON, we have read this j object and let me just use one log message just for your understanding for now okay so what is our j object it is j obj weather details right of main okay let us save this let us try to run this until here okay let us see what it is going to get if we use this way so i am supposed to get all these values for each and every country let us see the output fine right this is what been expected okay let me delete this log message okay and so this is not required now so out of this again we need humidity right so out of this we need humidity okay save now let us run this again and see how whether we are able to get the humidity of each country or not no something went wrong so let us do one thing dot item of humidity no it's not with the approach what we uh, taken it is because the spelling mistake see what is there in this it is something like yeah h-u-m-i-d-i-t-y so these are the common mistakes right yes okay and good good that we we just tried with other approach also what's the other approach which we discussed in our previous video either we can go with directly uh, giving attribute value or dot item of attribute value right both ways it will work just i just corrected the name It should be J object of the main and then what is the name of this humidity yes this is perfect okay now let me run this again for you I'm sure it will work now because I gave the right spelling Perfect, right? For each country, it is giving the humidity. So, now what is our agenda? Pass the input to API and get the weather report. So, we, we got the weather report of each country. Now, save the weather report into an Excel. So, this third part is still pending. 
in order to save this back to an excel we are supposed to save these values in our data table right so let us create one data table and then we can copy this values into an excel okay for that i'm going to use the build data build data table this one just drag and drop this and click on this data table and add the column names so my column name number 1 is going to be country which is going to be a string just save this out and next column is say humidity humidity okay let us just convert it into a string okay for now let's have only these two values just save it out and go to properties of this activity build data table and give the data table name okay fine let's validate whether it has created the right one or not yes exactly okay so now now we have our data table out put out data table ready with the required columns now we are supposed to add the data whatever we retrieve from the http request api call into that data table in order to save it back to excel file right so for that go to your activities panel and just type add data row so this is an active called add a row just drag and drop this over here okay now give the data table name this is our output data table and let me maximize this yeah so we are supposed to pass the values into this data table right so the first column says country right where is our country it is under current row dot item of country right it is there so our country value is done then what is the next column humidity right where is the humidity let me go back this is what is humidity right so just copy this and save it here okay that's it right so two uh, values because we have only two columns in this data table okay now let us see how it is going to execute and to understand whether it has some data or not let us print one log message with the count of the rows in the data table what is this data table dot row count okay let us save this and let us call uh, okay so we have four rows in it okay now ultimately what, what we are supposed to do let's go back to our agenda we have read the input from an excel the country data and we passed it as input to each uh, http request and we are retrieving the weather report of that country now we have saved that into our data table and we are supposed to save the report back to an excel for that i am going to write this data table into an excel file so use write range workbook fine use write range workbook give the path where you are supposed to create let me create a new excel file here as weather report so select this give the sheet name and the data table variable okay perfect now let us run this
let me go back to the project um, project folder go to data refresh and and see whether it has updated correctly or not fine data is fine right but what happened to our column names let us see where we did the mistake yes go to the right range workbook properties of this activity and there is something called add headers option so that it will add the headers also in the excel okay and one more thing okay let me run this and then we'll talk about the other point so that's a one common mistake what we will do during excel automation right so this is fine now let's go back to our project folder and data just refresh it and open this there's one more mistake here yeah so now we got the column names right and the data as well but what is this one this is something weird right let me show you where is this close it off go to your build data table activity and there is a default row here see if you see this is the default row right close this cancel this now let us save this and i hope we will get the required output now just country and humidity but our agenda is to get the complete weather report in the excel right for that now we are supposed to add few more columns let me see show this off yes perfect right yeah now let's go back to our json output okay so we read the humidity part now to get the entire uh, weather report say for example the temperature min max pressure humidity and wind let us at least get some four to five values okay we are supposed to add few more values here okay so before that let us add the new columns okay so let us add one more column saying minimum temperature fine and then max temperature fine then pressure fine and one more say wind okay so accordingly we are supposed to add the same in data row as well right just keep on okay now go to your data row activity and in data row we are supposed to add the same part here as well okay so this is where we are getting what is the name of the attribute it says temp underscore min okay just add it here and and if you see it is in main only right it is under main temp now temp max also let us utilize this as well so our next column is maximum temperature so add one more comma and just max right and what is our next one pressure let us see where is this pressure it is also under main here right let's add it main and then pressure fine now one more wind now let's see where wind is is it there in the main no right so it is not in the main but it is a normal attribute so let me take this off and then add 
this value. So the J object of wind. That's it. Fine. Just save this and let us run this. Perfect. Now let's open the project folder and see this as well. Yes. Let me refresh this weather report. Let me just open this. Yes. Perfect. Right. So we have the country, humidity, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, pressure and wind. What is this wind? We got everything here. Let us see. What is this value? Let's go back to our this one wind. Perfect. Since we have speed, degree and gust both. Okay. Whatever is there under wind, we have retrieved that. Now let me get only speed value. So how to get this? We already. Just open this and go to advanced. Where is the wind value here? Yeah, it's wind, right? In this wind, we are supposed to get only how to retrieve how to retrieve this uh, speed. Simple. Under wind, we need speed. That's it. Okay. Just save this and run this again. Let us see this. Open project, data, refresh, perfect, right? So this is the approach, API approach in order to generate the weather report for a set of countries provided in an Excel. So in a real time scenario, uh, we will make this country details Excel, this input data available, I mean accessible to the user and to the bot as well so that say for example i am the end user i'll be adding all the uh, some hundred countries or whatever countries data i i want to retrieve here okay and bot will be picking up this data and providing this data back on a different sheet or maybe we can uh, uh, generate this way like we can add, make bot to send one email along with the weather report as an attachment in the email. So this is the real scenario where multiple users are utilizing this approach. Okay. So the same thing, the same uh, process we, we have automated using the UI automation as well as through API approach. So I hope this became easy for you and this is um, easy to understand. So my only suggestion is do practice this until you are able to do this on your own if you are a beginner. That's all for today. Uh, today's video. So uh, let's uh, uh, let us catch up through our next videos. Until then, please do watch our videos, subscribe our channel if you have not yet, and share with your friends to meet you through our next videos. Thank you so much.